Hey, what's up? It's PDX Guitar Freak here, and in this video I'm going to show you one of my latest toys. This is a Dan Electro 59 Acoustic Electric Resonator Guitar. Now this is uh, the first Resonator Guitar that I've ever owned, which should probably not come as a surprise uh, to most people uh, who've watched my channel and have listened to me play, or try to play this Resonator. Uh, so it's a completely new world for me, but I'm, I'm very excited about it. And actually, I bought this guitar for fun. It was, it was, a, it was a Christmas gift. Uh, from my wife. Um, actually, I, I picked it out myself, you know, that's typically, it works better that way, right? <laughs> and um, I really wasn't planning on getting myself anything, but then I thought, you know, just something for fun, nothing that's going to break the bank. And originally, um, I uh, gave myself like a $200 budget and said, something cheap, something fun. And as I was doing my research, uh, research, I um, initially thought about getting one of those uh, oil can guitars. If you haven't seen those, it's a reinforced oil can that's made into a guitar. Uh, Billy Gibbons is a fan of those and uh, he bought one for Jeff Beck <laughs> as a gift. I haven't heard either of them play it. I, I haven't found any videos of that, but I'd love to hear that. Um, and, uh, and then as I thought more about, uh, about it, because I was thinking the, the metal can would be, because of the metallic resonant properties, would be fun for slide. Uh, not that I'm good at slide, I'm, I'm really new to playing slide too. Um, I thought more about, well, what about a resonator? So I went on the Guitar Center's website, and there were, um, there was like one in the 200 price range. It didn't really excite me. So I thought, okay, what if I up the price range a little bit? And in the three to 400 range, they had a couple of uh, acoustic electric uh, resonators that had, uh, you know, single cutaways. It looked kind of cool. Uh, and then I scrolled down a little bit further, and I saw the Dano. And uh, instantly, it, it, it just caught my eye because of the way because of the, the look of it. And, um, you know, typically when I, it doesn't look like a, a, your typical resonator other than the, than the, the, the cone, right? And, um, uh, but when I saw it and it, you know, I could see the, the Coke bottle headstock and just the classic, you know, Dan Electro short horn shape, I instantly thought of Jimmy Page, right? Because he's been known to kind of whip those out live over the years. And here's a couple of pictures I found of, of Jimmy playing his, his Dano, uh, I think it was a 59 or 60, something like that. Um, and he's got a slide on actually in these pictures, so I thought that was appropriate. Um, <laughs> and uh, so Gary, very, very rock and roll looking. And um, I did my due diligence, I researched it, and it got, it got pretty good reviews. So it's not just, um, you know, a novelty thing, at least in my opinion. I'm not a, I'm not a resonator aficionado, so for, a, you know, an experienced bluesgrass or blues player, they might not be interested, but for someone like me who's looking for a fun, you know, resonator that's very rock and roll. This was the way to go. Anyway, I called Guitar Center because they are actually they most retailers sell them for about five ninety nine ninety nine six hundred bucks, three times more than I really really wanted to spend. Um, but I was just hooked on the way it looked and and it got good reviews. So I called Guitar Center and I'm like, you know, hey, I've been a customer since early '80s, whatever. Um, and I, and I noticed you're having a sale. This is right before Christmas, fifteen to twenty percent off uh, select items, right? Now this wasn't one. Typically when it says select items, it's, it's shit you're never gonna buy or be interested in, right? Uh, but they came back a couple minutes later and she said, okay, we'll give you 20% off, $4.99. And I was like, dude, sold, let's do it. Uh, so I, uh, I went for it. Anyway, um, you heard me play a little bit there at the beginning and um, the acoustic sound, I'll play, pl uh, I'll, you'll hear some uh, plugged in in a second, but acoustically, um, <laughs> projects pretty decently. Um, enough for sitting around the house and stuff. In fact, probably 99% of the time, I mean, I've had this only for a couple of weeks, but I sit around and just play it unplugged. Um, but, you know, if you're going to play live, I definitely would plug it in. Before we jump into the specs here, I do want to call out that I've got this tuned to open E. Um, so when you when you you just if you play all the strings it's a it's a it's a E, e major chord common slide tuning um, and so if you want to play like an A chord you go up to the fifth fret and just hold your finger all the way across this helps when you're playing slide because then you don't have to you can just if you go hit all the strings 
then it's a chord. Um, and so at the very end of the video, what I'm going to do is I've got a little open E cheat sheet for you. Uh, if you want to play like uh, 145 blues, it'll show you uh, some of the more common notes. So you can, if you want to take a screenshot, you can use that. Before I do the, do some more audio clips plugged in, um, go through some of the specs. So at the top, you know, you've got the, the classic uh, Dan Electro um, Coke bottle shaped uh, headstock right? Um, very iconic. Uh, it's got these uh, vintage style tuners. Um, an aluminum nut, which is interesting. I, uh, I don't see that often on guitars. And I'm not sure really what the rationale was, whether it was form or function, but I mean stylistically it fits in with the rest of the hardware, or at least, you know, with the cone and all that. Um, and the lipstick tube pickup, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but I, I did a little research on aluminum nuts, and some people like them because they claim it, it, it increases sustain. I don't know if that's true or not. You tell me if you know in the comment section. Uh, and some people don't like them because it's a softer metal. I mean, it makes it more malleable or pliable, whatever the word is. Uh, but some people don't like it because of that. But either way, that's what we got. Um, the neck, it's a C-shaped um, uh, bolt-on. And um, it's got, uh, it's, a, it's a maple neck, but with a rosewood fingerboard, uh, 21 medium uh, frets. And um, with the cutaway, you've got pretty good access up here. Uh, I think this is right about where my hand hits the short horn up here at the 17th fret. Um, which is a nice place to, to bottom out if you have to, I suppose. Although I do find that when I'm getting up here, I'll take my thumb and I'll put my thumb in front, which I've seen some slide guitar players do, right? Um, not just up here, but, you know, up in this territory. Um, but whatever, I like the cutaways. Um, and then the body is made of uh, masonite, which is um, kind of a cheaper material that Dan Electro has been known to use for a long time, and I'm not sure the rationale behind masonite other than it's cheap to produce and therefore cheaper to sell, right? Um, so not a, not a sophisticated uh, um, body type by any means uh, in terms of the composite, um, but par for the course with Dan Electro. And then, um, let's see, pickup-wise, we have the uh, lipstick tube pickup in the next neck position, which obviously is very Dan Electro. I mean, you can't imagine a Dan Electro guitar without the classic lipstick tube pickup, right? Uh, very smooth, kind of round tone. And there's a piezo that's inside the cone that you can't see, so if you want to get that more brittle uh, metallic sound, you can, you can, you can do that. Now, there's, a, there's, there's volume, there's tone, and there's blend, which is really cool. So you, if, if, if it's in the center position, it's 50% neck, 50% uh, piezo in there, um, and then you can dial in the right mix. So if you want 100% neck pickup, you can do that, 100% piezo, you can do that, or you can find some mix in between. And oftentimes, um, and I'm still getting used to trying to create tones with this, so I'm not a pro at it yet, obviously, but uh, I usually like um, more of the neck than the piezo, so I'm typically at 50% mix or more toward the neck side, but again, I'm still, I'm still kind of fooling around with that. Um, and again, since I'm not an expert on resonators, I won't go into too much detail about the cone type. It's a, it is what they call a spider I'm sorry, a diamond uh, biscuit uh, cone. Diamond because of the shape of the, hole, the, the little holes. There's different types. This is diamond, there's other types of hole shapes. And biscuit is really the, the, the type of construction of the cone, um, in which you can't see, it's internal. Um, biscuit being the more simple of the, the, the three kind of common types of, of, of cone construction. Um, and uh, oftentimes people associate the, the, the biscuit cone with kind of old man blues stuff, which just that's just fine with me. Uh, if you want more complex tones, you want to look at some of the other um, resonators, uh, like bluesgrass players. Like, and I forget the other names of the cones at the top of my head, off the top of my head, but you can look those up. I'm not going to go into too much detail. So it's a very simple, simple design, um, but that's okay because I'm using it for simple purposes. Um, all right, not much more I can say about the uh, the guitar and some of the the specs here. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll listen to some uh, audio clips. So for these really quick sound clips, I'm running uh, the guitar into my Pod HD 500 into the computer. 
Um, you can download this patch on my Custom Tone website. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. Uh, it's really a work in progress because I'm really uh, new to using this guitar and trying to find good sounds with it. So I'd love to hear what other people come up with. And um, what I'll do here in these sound clips is you'll hear the guitar uh, first with the neck pickup 100%, then the piezo pickup 100%, and then the 50-50 blend. So as I mentioned, um, now I'm going to put up on the screen the, uh, the little guide that I made for open E tuning. And you can see I've got it for E, A, and B, which is you know the classic 1-4-5 progression with uh, the blues-based stuff. And I've highlighted it and color-coded. You can see the legend on the side, um, you know, what some of the, the key notes are. So as you're sli slipping and sliding around, um, you'll know, you know where you want to go. Um, so anyway, uh, that was my video on the Dan Electro 59 Acoustic Electric Resonator Guitar. I hope you enjoyed it. i um, having a lot of fun with this new toy, and if you have any, um, any thoughts about, about this guitar or resonators in general or tips on playing open E slide, um, I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment down below, and um, I will also answer any questions as time allows. Till next time, rock on. <laughs>